Hey everyone, I'm Tanya J. Peterson with the Mental Health for the Digital Generation blog on HealthyPlace.com. One really, really common question, common worry among people that live with mental illness or just experience any type of mental health challenge, whether it's anxiety or low mood or, or whatever it is, people wonder, should I tell others about what I'm experiencing. Should I let people know? Should I disclose it to friends, family, co-workers, bosses, the lunch lady, who, whatever. Should I tell people about what I'm experiencing? And if you look up that question, if you Google it, quite likely you're going to find a lot of different answers and some really strong opinions. There are people that advise you, oh my gosh, no, 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 never, ever, ever share with others your own experience. That's personal, that's your own thing. Nobody needs to know. They might even judge you or this reason or that reason or whatever. Don't tell people. Okay, but you're also going to find, read, come across, information where people are saying, absolutely, tell them. Either, you know, it builds trust, it helps you be authentic and honest, it weeds out people who will support you versus those you don't. Some people will even tell you that you owe it to others to talk about your own mental health because it makes the conversations easier overall. Here is the real answer. The answer to whether or not you personally should disclose information, any information about your own mental health to others is completely personal. Now that may seem wishy-washy and not the answer, but the truth is there are no answers that apply to everybody. And if somebody tries to tell you that, you might want to think twice about what they're saying. What works for you is what you are comfortable with in each independent situation. It's not an all or nothing thing. You might be completely honest about what you're feeling and thinking and experiencing and any diagnosis that you might have with, with one person, but not say anything at all to another person. We do that all the time. We say different things to different people. We use different language with different people. Some people you might swear up a storm and use slang and you know all sorts of different, you know, whatever, you know, casual language. And with somebody else, you're gonna be more formal and leave that out. It's the same thing with whether or not you talk about something very personal. So consider your source. And then it might be helpful if you're trying to decide, okay, do I tell this person about my own experiences, my mental health or not? It might be helpful to write out some answers, some reflections to some questions. You might write down, number one, why do I want to tell somebody about my mental health? Two, why do I not want to tell somebody? Why do I want to keep it quiet? Number three, what advantages might happen? What might I have to gain by telling people about my own mental health? And what disadvantages, what cons might there be to telling? And the thing is, is you don't know. You can't predict what's going to happen, whether you disclose or you don't disclose information. I don't even like that term. You hear that all the time, to close, disclose your mental health. That makes it sound like it's some big, dark secret that you have to maybe reveal. Get rid of the thought of disclosing. Do you want to share information about your personal mental health or not? Answer those four questions. And again, that's not going to even tell you exactly what to do, but it'll help clarify because you can't predict what those answers are going to be, but it might help you sort out, okay, well, advantages, disadvantages, this reason, that reason. And then it is completely up to 
you. This is your life. This is your internal experience. It is your business and your decision to decide what you want to say, how you want to say it, when you want to say it, and to whom you want to say it. So even though this has not been an answer for you, hopefully it helps you in that process. And thanks for listening. I will see you next time.